So a few weeks ago, I posted a video on my main channel titled Rhino is the most overpowered Warframe. And in this video, I go over the incredible qualities and traits Rhino possesses, revisiting his kit and actually using Stomp instead of subsuming it over for ironclad builds like most people do. And I was dumbfounded. The amount of iron skin I was able to sustain using the combination of Nourish and Roar to dish out stupendous amounts of damage and Stomp to stun like everything within range was nothing short of amazing. Iron Skin has a unique property. I like to call this the Iron Multiplier. Upon casting Iron Skin for 3 seconds, Rhino will absorb all damage taken, then convert that damage into Overguard. And that's pretty much it. No, I'm serious. That's all there is to it. But how to get 20 million Overguard without Parasitic Armor or Ironclad? Well, it's simple. Enemy Scaling. You see, Rhino is unique in a sense that he actually scales with the enemy level and damage. The more damage the enemies do to Rhino, the tankier he becomes. If you want to test this out yourself, simply load into a level 30 mission and absorb some damage. Then do so again on a Steel Path mission. You'll see the difference immediately. When I was discussing Iron Skin in my previous video, the main point I want to get across was that Rhino is capable of being just as tanky as Mesmer Skin Revenant. And admittedly, I didn't do too good of a job describing the properties and values, but TLDR, if you actively play with Rhino and maintain the high Iron Skin value, you're going to tank. It's that simple. The enemies at level cap do millions of damage, and Rhino can turn said millions into multi-millions or even billions. It's a common misconception that Rhino cannot tank at the highest of levels. The main thing I want to talk about here is that Rhino and Revenant have differing breakpoints. Mesmer's skin is a one-to-one, -one, meaning no matter how much damage you can take, your skin will deplete by only one charge per hit. If Revenant gets hit with an attack that deals 5 damage, it will only deplete Mesmer's skin by one point. And if Revenant gets hit with an attack that deals 5 million damage, it will only deplete Mesmer by again one point. Mesmer is fixed. It is a fixed breakpoint. Rhino, on the other hand, has a more dynamic breakpoint because he can scale with the enemies and missions. His iron skin breakpoints fluctuate depending on the player and enemy enemy. It could be lower or higher than Mesmer skin. You could have millions of iron skin and with good attention to the map and awareness of your powers, you would theoretically have a much higher breaking point than Mesmer skin. That is the key difference between iron skin and Mesmer skin. One is fixed and the other is not. And again, Rhino can tank level cap attacks. I'm absorbing them as seen on screen just fine. And obviously, if you stand in one place for too long, you're going to die, and Revenant will have to run away and recast Mesmer skin as well. Yes, in theory, Revenant would be able to sustain a plethora of high damage attacks standing in one place, but the main thing is, if you're playing the game, is there really a difference to begin with? If you are actively moving, shooting, and using your powers, actively engaging with the game's systems and mechanics, what's the difference? Doom Rhino is able to tank quite well and also offer way better CC, support, and damage, but I do go over that in my main video, so let's move on. So now that you know how Iron Skin works, how does the setup work exactly? Well, the main mechanics are simple, but timing and attention to the enemy's attacks are pretty crucial. To activate the setup, roll into a group of enemies, then cast Iron Skin. Count to 3 seconds in your head, then at the 3rd second, immediately cast on. Then after 4 seconds, your rolling guard is back up. The initial skin loss is also regained thanks to reinforcing stomp. At higher levels, you'll automatically gain millions of overguard because enemies simply deal so much damage for you to multiply, which will let you tank a good number of attacks at level cap. There is also methods of abusing Malice's bubbles so you can self-damage to gain very high iron skin early on, although this is dependent on the weapon you're using. On the other hand, a more reliable manner is to use the Blitz Eximus attack and walk through the blast waves it creates. At very high levels, you will easily build up the iron skin to a very large multiplier. As for the build, it is an altered variation of Mythical's Doom Rhino, as seen on screen, but slotting red shards for power strength as I don't have an umber form right here yet. And that's pretty much about it. It takes a bit of practice getting used to, to timing the rolling guard and stomp casts, but once you've gotten the hang of it, it becomes a cakewalk. So hopefully I was able to clear up some things about Iron Skin and how it works with the setup. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.